something about rainy days always makes me feel calm. I don't know if it's like the pitter patter of the rain on the sidewalk or just the fact that it makes you feel a little bit more grounded and introspective. But it definitely makes me feel more creative and want to make overly aesthetically vintage YouTube videos. But I'm so freaking bored during this quarantine. I definitely need to do something. So while we're stuck inside, how about we do something? Let's paint. So who am I painting this time around? A celebrity? No, I'm painting this really sick picture of my grandpa that I found. I don't know, he looks like a movie star or something, and I like how the book character is doing the same pose as him. So as always, we're going to start out by drawing onto the canvas with pencil. I like to use pencil because it's erasable and I make a lot of mistakes, but after you're done with this sketch, it makes the painting process a lot easier. And this is what it looks like when the drawing is done. So now it's paint time! So I wanted to pause really quickly to kind of talk about blending with acrylics because I actually get the most questions about that. The secret to it is, unfortunately, just a crap ton of blending. The clips you just watched were over the span of about three days of just working on the face. I know that some people like to use spray bottles, but sometimes I've experienced like drippage, which is like the exact opposite thing that you want when you're painting. So. If you're gonna get a spray bottle to keep your acrylics wet for longer, I would definitely make sure to test it a few times to make sure it's more of a mist than just a spray so you don't make your life an absolute nightmare. But in general, I don't water down my paints. I tend to just use them the way they are. Uh, I, I didn't even know that people did that until someone asked me what my water to paint ratio was. So. Um, one of the few tips I have is make sure that you have the paints that are going to be adjacent, like the colors adjacent to whatever you're working on, already mixed before you put it onto the canvas. And that way you'll be able to blend into them and create more of that soft blended look that oil paints give. But yeah, so anyways, back to the video. <laughs> Right here in the process, I kind of reached a weird fork in the roads. I really didn't like how this painting was looking and I kind of almost scrapped this entire process because it wasn't looking right. I know that it kind of looks right, but it just was completely off. There was just things wrong with it. So I decided to use my method of using the app Facetune to Photoshop the painting to look more like the portrait. And here's what happened. <laughs> Huh? Okay, so now I was back on track with this painting and I was feeling a lot better about it. But the thing that was really stumping me was figuring out how the eyes position was because it was really tricky to make it really look like he was looking down at the book. So that's what I'm doing with my finger.
So what I'm doing here with the blue masking tape is I wanted to make sure that his pupils were lined up with each other, even though they were on kind of an angle because he's looking down at a book. And so I use masking tape whenever I need to make sure that my lines are straight. So you're going to see me using masking tape on the letters and on the book. And that's just to make sure that I'm taking user error out of the equation. <laughs> And after a few final touches, we were finally done. But what would a painting reveal be without a fierce montage? So I know you guys are wondering, did my grandpa love it? So I called him up and you'll have to take my word for it because I know this clip has no sound, but he really liked it and it made my day. So yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, consider liking and subscribing and yeah, bye.